In a speech, as some would put it, the voice in your head. I don't have one. So I've had this conversation with so many people and every single one of them thinks I'm insane. Friends, family, everyone. Up until a few months ago, I had no idea that the majority of people on this planet have an internal monologue. I was bewildered and still am. I've always thought that having a voice in your head means you're a psycho. I mean, I know it's a completely different thing, but point stands, I had no idea that the majority of people have this entire part of their thought process that I seemingly don't have. Actually, I think this realisation started when people had asked me what language do you think in, since I speak both English and Bengali, and Bengali is my first language even though I speak English a lot more proficiently now. But language is a whole other fascinating topic. Whenever I was asked this, I'd always get confused and reply, I don't think in a specific language, but I don't think in words. Obviously, I get a lot of questions when it's revealed that everyone else has this voice in their head that I don't have. Uh, the main one being, how do you read then? The simple answer is how I thought everyone reads. I look at the words and since I know the meaning of those words, I understand what it says. There's no voice or narration going on in my head as I read. But then again, I have questions for them and probably you. Like, what does the voice sound like? Does it sound exactly like you or completely different? Is it loud? Can you turn it on and off? What language does it think in? Prompted by this mind-blowing discovery, I thought today I would read up on an internal monologue and what it means if you don't have one. And if anything, this video is the perfect video to comment on because I am really curious and I really want to know, do you have an internal monologue? Firstly, it seems this conversation has been sparked on Twitter a good few times, There's some tweets going viral, so let's have a read through those. So I think this is the tweet that meant most viral, it's from Cal Plant Emoji, some people have an internal narrative and some don't. As in, some people's thoughts are like sentences they hear, and some just have abstract non-verbal thoughts. And most people aren't aware of the other type of person. Which is completely the case, I had no idea that most of my friends have an inner voice, they had no idea that there's people like me who don't, so this is very accurate. People hear thoughts verbally, I would hate having to hear an inner monologue all day. Like, I, t I can agree. I doesn't it get annoying? Doesn't it get really annoying just having to listen to all of your thoughts being spoken out loud? I couldn't, that would be so irritating. I tried to think in concepts this morning and kept talking to myself. I've always been jealous of people who can hear their thoughts. Verbalising an abstract thought is so hard and makes you feel dumb. It's a skill you have to learn. That's interesting. I wonder if you can sort of adapt from not having an inner voice to building one up. That's really interesting. You're telling me thinking isn't always just a silent conversation with yourself? Like when someone thinks out loud on TV, some people just take that as a metaphor. Okay, whenever people think out loud on TV, like they have a voiceover of their thoughts, every single time I've just thought, oh, this is just a metaphor. It's just a device being used to show what they're thinking. Never in my life have I thought that that's actually what goes on in your head. Madness. Those without an inner monologue, I wonder if they're faster readers since they wouldn't have to formulate the words in their brain. See, okay, you're gonna think this is a flex. This is not a flex at all, I promise. But sometimes my friends say, how do you read so fast? How do you, how do you read that so quickly? And I always tell them the same thing. I look at the words, I know what the words mean, and therefore I've read it. And then sometimes that goes on to spark the conversation about an inner voice. But, I mean, I get that. I that's, that might have some element of truth to it, who knows. Wait, some people don't think in sentences? I never shut up about anything, it's a constant voice in my head, and other people don't have that? <laughs> Alright, okay, first of all, people who just like spam letters and they're funny or quirky just get gone. And also, this is blowing my mind, I can't think about this at half twelve. When I learned about this, it significantly improved my life. As a rapid fire conceptual thinker, I was frequently frustrated about the time it took others to problem solve. I was wrongly attributing it to intellect, and really, it's a disparity between concept versus whole sentences. Now, if I say that I relate to this, it's going to make it sound like an absolute twat. Okay, let's just move on then. I'm having a hard time imagining what it must be like to not hear your thoughts. I've always assumed it was this way for everyone. Yeah, so it seems like the original tweet is pretty spot on that most people who think one way aren't aware that the other way is possible to think in. Do you know of any research that supports what you're saying? Um, all the replies. It still makes no sense to think without words. Oh, I, I can't even think what oh, my brain would come up with if it just talked all day. Questions for people who hear their thoughts. Right, this one goes out to you if you can. What if you need to think faster than your internal monologue can talk? That's a big one. That's, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. What if your thoughts need to be like, but your voice doesn't speak that fast. 
because that's that's what I sometimes think. Since I've just got like m sometimes I have like so many thoughts going on at once. Like obviously they're not being spoken out, but so many thoughts going on at once, so many concepts going on at once. I think for people who speak out their thoughts, how does that work? Can you have multiple monologues at the same time? That's a good question. Also, what was being a baby like? Did learning language change your experience of thinking? Yeah, surely you're right. If you're a kid, if you're a baby or a toddler, since you can't speak a language yet, how would you think in words if you don't know what the word? See, I mean, not thinking with words, in, just thinking in concepts makes sense throughout the entirety of your life. I don't get the words thing. Since words are something you develop as you learn, but surely your inner thought isn't something you develop. Surely it's something you're born with. But you can't be born with it if you can't understand words before you... Some people don't have a voice in their head. Wait, what? A perfect summarisation of the entire thread. As a kid, I was bilingual and I could feel the transition from my internal dialogue being in my native tongue to English. At one point, my external dialogue was English and my internal voice was Zulu. Every now and again, it still happened. Okay, right. I, I had a theory that I was about to bring up that... I think if you're multilingual or if you can speak more than one language then you don't have an internal monologue because there's no default language that your brain goes to but maybe that's not the case. If we touch something soft we know it's soft because we can feel it but we don't say this is soft in our heads like that but with every single concept. <clears throat> when I'm speaking I generally have no idea what I'm going to say until I'm saying it literally i don't know what i'm gonna say until i say it right i think we've spent long enough on um on twitter um okay i've got wikipedia i've got wikipedia up right internal monologue um running verbal monologue of thoughts while they are conscious so so like all the time usually tied to a person's sense of self it's relevant to a number of mental disorders oh oh no oh no here we go, absence of an internal monologue. There's wide variation in how often people report experience an internal monologue. Some people report very little or none. Younger children are less likely to report using inner speech instead of visual thinking than older children and adults. Yeah, 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 yeah. Though it's not known whether this is due to lack of inner speech, due to insufficient developed introspection. That's also a good... There's a spider right behind my camera. Brother, 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 wait, wait. What's good, bro? What's good? You good? Right, it's tiny. It should be fine. There's also some articles I found, but they couldn't be designed to look less scholarly and reliable if they tried. If you tried citing one of these as a source, your argument would be as valid as my citizenship. Boris, that was a joke. Boris, mate. Bo Bo J Boris, that was a joke. Right, so this is quoting that tweet. There's almost 3,000 replies. Most people fall on a spectrum, thinking both visually and verbally. Okay, okay. A lot of people have both. Really? It goes well beyond two types. It's established early in the formative years when children begin to learn words and sentences as a mode of communication. So that probably links into why children aren't self-aware until they reach a certain level of language understanding and capability. So that's pretty interesting actually. Maybe, you know, the point where you're mature enough to be self-aware and the point where you can understand language are very closely related. I've never thought about that. Not as black and white as a tweet would suggest. All right. People who have no voice in their head. I feel like language limits, says 29-year-old Martin Campion manager. She thinks outside of the textual realm. That's a really good way of putting it. My, my thoughts, I wouldn't be able to condense my thoughts into text. If I was getting out of bed in the morning and thinking that I need to get up and get some coffee, I see the picture of the coffee cup. See, that's interesting because I, I wouldn't see the picture of the coffee cup. I would just have the concept of the desire to get coffee. I wouldn't have any forethought as to where I'm going to get the coffee from, what the coffee's going to look like. I would just have that initial instinct, that desire to get a coffee, and that's it. And then what happens after that is purely spontaneous. I really, really want you there watching right now to comment where you fall on the spectrum, if it is a spectrum, and how you think. Right, it's it's so interesting. Why didn't I take A-level psychology? Oh yeah, because uh, condensing it in the form of academic study just makes it boring. I, I think doing research like this, just like on your own accord, is so much more beneficial than school forcing you to read up on something. And if you had the same topic, right, and one person just found it of their own accord and started reading into it, and another person was forced to learn about it, I think the person reading of their own accord would learn it so much better. It must be so annoying to have words in your head. Exactly, exactly. 
It's not like I have a picture, I just have the intention to do things. Yes, yeah, what I was saying, that's what I was saying. My fingers are gonna have the strength of Zeus after this video. Alright, here's another article. Firmly divided between those who we can't and my this is what I mean man, these articles are actual trash. Like why why, why do these articles exist? They look so not fake, but like this they look so cheap and tacky. I absolutely used to presume that someone thinking out loud on TV or passages of thought in books were a metaphor or artistic license. Yeah, this is what I was saying earlier. It amazes me that many people actually think like that and not in concept. I can't imagine thinking in actual sentences and hearing an internal monologue. People are really thinking. Ooh, people are really thinking sentences. And then there was a video I watched it to see if it's interesting, but it's it's really boring. Okay, I, I finally will have read it. Right, I know this video's dragged on a bit, but uh, we have. We have read it. I emailed my biology presentation to my teacher at like 11 last night, or like half 11. All right, how do people with no internal monologue think? I'd, I hope there's someone on Reddit with the opposite question, how do people with an internal monologue think? There are people with no internal monologue? I think everyone has one. Ooh, deaf people don't have an inner monologue. That, I've never considered that. That is really interesting. The fact that if you can't, if you can't hear, but n no, because if you're deaf, that means that there's a, like a bio like a physical impairment with your, what's it called, anatomy that stops you from being able to properly hear outside sources. So surely a mental voice would still work. So surely deaf people would have an inner monologue, right? You know what? It's so interesting to see people who do have an inner voice being bewildered at people who don't because it's the exact same for me but the complete opposite don't have a voice saying anything i just react yeah stopping sub vocalization really speeds up reading and thought in general i found so a recurring thought that i'm having is that surely it'd be way faster to not have to have everything being spoken out loud in your head i can have an inner voice but i rarely allow it so one of my questions at the start of this video can you turn it on and off maybe you can i don't really have an internal monologue i have to force myself to use one in situations where i need to regulate my behavior such as a job interview i wouldn't be able to do that even if i tried i wouldn't be able to force myself to have a internal monologue i think visually and it's a hundred times faster than waiting for the verbalization I, I bet they take much quicker showers i have an inner monologue for some things but not an inner monologue for other things what's a inter al monologue and on that note I think it's time to end the video. This is really interesting. I know. Oh, ow, my hand. I know this wasn't the type of video I usually make, but I thought it was really interesting. I've had this idea for a video for a while now to explore, you know, this entire section of psychology and how it affects different people. So please, if you're watching this, please do comment and let me know because I want to. I, I, I want. I want to see what what people how people think. So, anyways. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.